good YouTube and today as you can see in front of you I have one of the new Lego creator 3 in 1 sets I don't know if it's like brand new kind of new but it's set number 3111 I think 1 Cyber Drone um, I actually got 3 of them and as you see in front of you um, I built the robot version or the mech version actually sorry uh, these are the three mirror figures that I got with them, the exact same. Um, the detailing on these are actually pretty good, surprisingly. Um, I didn't expect it to actually come with a uh, actual Lego mini figure, so that was actually kind of surprising. Um, oh, my God. Uh, so I actually kind of did a little bit of modifications towards the actual design, just a little bit. Um, not too much. Um but I actually just added just a, quite a bit of few bit, the different pieces. Um, this little, little uh, thing here doesn't really actually uh, come with the actual original design. Same thing with this right here, this little blaster, if I can just put that on the arm. Um, same thing with, uh, if you actually just, uh, let me get these minute figures out of the way. Move them and move him. Okay, so let me start with mech number one actually that way i can kind of give you a different perspective on uh, the design actually so uh, these are kind of modified to a certain degree though i didn't want to take too much away from the actual design um these whole uh wing parts up here are actually my uh part of my modifications um as, 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 along with these uh uh blasters in the top uh, nothing on the back uh the modification also added towards this is i extended the laser gun here and I also added a bit of a, uh, not sure what to call it, I guess you can call it a uh, chain gun, machine gun, whichever number you want to go at it. Um, I actually wanted to add some weapons to these uh, instead of just having the laser gun on it. Um, the modification, um, not modification, articulation in these is pretty good as far as the arms. Um, it has a Technic uh, piece right here to allow it to go up and down. Um, you also have a Technic ball right here to allow it to... Uh, give it a 360 uh, actually no 180 degree of an angle of a turn um which is pretty good um especially if you're doing a stop motion it'd be definitely a pretty good uh um actual articulation to actually use um it does have enough space in the cockpit for actually one uh figure so that's pretty cool um i got three of these for an actual future project that i'm actually working on so uh, yeah, so that's the first one, and then the second one's almost the exact same design almost. I just wanted to give a little bit more bulk to it. So I added uh, a few more plates on here. That's actually one of my modifications along with this. And on the back of it, I actually added a little bit of more armor towards it to actually give it a little bit of a more bulky look. Um, these plates I actually added myself, and these plates too. And then this one also, and then this little design right here with the actual slope piece on top. Um, yeah, again, I just wanted to add a little bit of modifications to these just to actually make them kind of my own little bit of design towards them. I will do future uh, additions to it more than the future, not too much. Um, same thing with this one. I actually got the little uh, little blaster here along with a little bit of uh, armor plating. And then I also have like uh, these uh, sound inducing blasters. And then in the back, I actually added a little bit of more armor plating as far as the top. Um, which these can actually turn into a little bit of aerodynamic um, helpers if you're actually falling from the sky. It can help you kind of uh, maneuver yourself as far as uh, while you're falling, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, I actually kind of li like to set more than I thought I would, to be honest. Um, I probably will build more into the future, uh, the other models that come with it. Um, but... Uh, yeah, that's the look at all three of the mechs. And then, uh, as far as opinion, as far as the set, out of 10, I definitely have to give it a uh, 10 out of 10, especially with the minifigure that comes with it. It's a really good minifigure. Um, that's gonna be the box for you right there. Um, right there, like I said, three and one, set number 311111, 113 pieces, like a creator. And then these are the other two molds that come with it. I just thought that one was pretty cool. Um, and then in the back is it just gives you a little bit of example of what are the other options that could give you. Um, it does come with extra pieces. Well, definitely a lot of extra pieces. Um, more than I can uh, count. Yeah, definitely more pieces that I can definitely count. Um, I'm glad it brings this many extra pieces. It kind of gives you a variety of different options that you can actually modify towards your um, builds. Um, so especially if you build uh, the other two options, you could definitely add your own modifications towards them yourself. 
So I am definitely excited for the set. I've definitely got quite a few plans. That's why I got three of them. And yeah, like I said, 10 out of 10. Obviously, it's a really good set. I definitely took the, uh, had the opportunity. I definitely grabbed three of them. I might grab more in the future, but who knows? Hopefully, uh, this set's going to stick around Oop, for a little bit longer. And uh, hopefully, it's here to stay. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. And uh, yeah, this has been Sway with another video. And definitely like, comment, and subscribe. It definitely helps. And I will see y'all in the next video.